everyone, it's Matsmas. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate you stopping by. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I'd like to talk to you about my video recording software. Now, this is a question I always get asked by people on the channel. Matsmas, what's the video recording software you use? You know, is it good? Is it bad? What's the benefits of this one over that one? First of all, let me just start off my journey in terms of video recording. I started off with using a very, very good video recording system that's normally used for the PlayStation 4 for recording via a hardware setup. So it's basically a recorder, the Elgato, that you plug in via HDMI into your PS4 or even the PC and you can record your footage. I'm not going to lie to you guys, although it's supposed to be absolutely fantastic, and it is, it really, for me, wasn't very well optimized for the PC. And I was getting more and more frustrated trying to get this damn setup to work. Eventually I looked into, well, what's a better option? I looked into Shadow Play, and unfortunately, because of the kind of games that I was playing and the kind of footage that I was doing, Shadow Play with the current graphics card that I have, which, as you can see right now, is the GeForce GTX 770, which unfortunately is not mine, and I'm trying to save up for a new one, um, but uh, it just couldn't handle Shadow Play plus some of the intense games and things that I was playing, and it just wouldn't work out so far. Then I looked into using OBS. Now, OBS is a free software. It's very, very good at recording, um, you know, different gameplay footage and such. Uh, but again, it just wasn't meeting the standard that I wanted. The good, high-quality resolution video footage, uh, crispy user interface, it's very smooth transition into making a video. Just the best thing to do if you're wanting to start a YouTube channel is obviously good hardware, but then a good recording software. And honestly, this is hands down an honest review of this video recording software. And many of you have asked me this question before of what software I use, and this is hands down an honest opinion of this actual software. So first of all, let me just go over and prove to you exactly why, oh, you know, much, uh, that's, that's my account balance on my Steam there, by the way, guys, but uh, this is how many hours I have used on Action. Now, Action is produced by Marillis, which are uh, basically a software production company that do uh, gameplay recording, pretty much, um, and they're a screen recording software. It's pretty much one of the most popular screen recorders out there. There are many others. I'm not going to list them off because I don't remember them all, but this was the one that I found suited me best. First and foremost, it was on Steam, which is always nice to have because I can just use my Steam money and I can just quickly buy it and off I go. And it was on sale. It was really, really cheap at the time, and I thought, you know what, let's just try it out. And I have never looked back since. It is absolutely awesome, guys. This hour clearly indicates why I love it so much. I have had zero, I mean this, zero problems with my action gameplay recording software. I have had many problems with hardware setups, many problems with other gameplay recording softwares. This one, not one glitch, not one issue. The only thing I can say that was the problem is for some reason one time action um, all of a sudden just wouldn't... Um, it just wouldn't load. I don't know why. I think it was my computer. I quickly emailed Action uh, or Marillis and said, you know, the, here's the problem I'm having. Uh, and they quickly gave me an instant solution. Now, it wasn't a problem that was from the software. It was from actually my computer. I'd done something um, with some updates and it just wasn't working out. But the customer service from them, from emailing them, it was literally within a day. They, they were that fast and it was pretty damn impressive. And again, that relates back to this hour. If I'd have found problems with this, I tend to not cope with small issues. I will quickly find something else. If I've paid money for something, I'll refund it if I can and look for something better. 1,045 hours worth of the use of this actual recorder is clearly proving to you how much I love this product. Now, let's go over a little bit more about what the product involves. So, it is probably, for me, one of the most user-friendly recorders that I've seen out there. There are others out there with great interfaces, great setups. Um, this one is very simple. I love simplicity. If I can just click a few buttons with a few settings and get it rolling, that's where I want to be. I don't want to be tinkering around with different freaking settings. For those of you who are in you know, really into your recording and really want to fine tune things, things like OBS are probably the way you want to go. You can really tinker around with different options and abilities, um, but this is not what I was looking for. I just wanted something simple that was going to give me high quality, easy to use uh, footage for my videos, and this was the best bet to go for. So let's just talk about the interface real quick here. So when you fire up Action, when you actually get it, uh, this is the interface box you get. Uh, very, very small, very simple, not this huge screen, not this tiny little screen, so I'm like needing to get my old man glasses out to see things. Uh, and you're 
presented with six different tabs at the top, obviously information uh, and help if you need it. The particular drive that you've set to place your videos into uh, wherever you've recorded them. And then obviously the interface panel itself, which is giving you various different options. Now I really like this feature because it's actually very, very quick at being able to preview the video you just recorded, which is nice because sometimes if you're about to play a game, I always like to do a check video. You know what that is if you've done YouTube before or if you're making gameplay videos. A check video is basically you click record for five or six seconds and you make sure your audio and your video is working. Some recorders that I've found when doing that check video do not input that video into this preview screen very quickly. Even for like a 20 second video that you just want to do some check audio checks on, it takes quite some time for it to come up with a preview screen. And the great thing is the thumbnail that it shows is basically the first couple of seconds of the video. It instantly verifies, well, at least it's recording the correct screen for if you have multiple screens, which I really like because if I can put this on the other screen on the other side there, I can then click my record button whilst in a game without having to alt escape or control escape to the other window to make sure it's working. I can just visually see that that test record worked and it came up with a little, and these what all these are, these are test recordings that I've just made sure that the, the footage is correctly recording what I need it to record. And then I'll just continue um, with another recording separately to continue the main video that I wanna record, which is a really nice feature. I like that it's able to quickly put the video onto preview I mean, even big videos, guys. If I've recorded Steel Beast Pro, which is one of my bigger games that I play, up to around an hour and a half, it's very quick at producing that preview and very quick at rendering the video ready to play. We're talking about five or six seconds, not even. If I've just recorded Steel Beast Pro for an hour and a half, to double click and off we go. Straight into 1080p, rolling beautifully, footage is straight there, accessible, which is great. You can obviously um, adjust to what you want to set it by, by date. Um, and you can, you know, by size, by name, by date. I tend to just have it by date, it makes more sense. It allows you to actually show how much space you have left for your video recordings, which is again, really nice. If you know you're gonna do a big recording, you don't want to be halfway through your gameplay having your recorder shut out the rest of the footage because you ran out of space. It's nice to have that live update of exactly how much you have left, and you can roughly estimate how much space you need for each video. At the bottom left here, as you can see, um, well, I won't scroll the mouse over it, but it's giving you the resolution of the video and its frames per second, its length, and the total amount of space it gives or has given um, for that particular video, which is, again, really, really nice to have. Now, on the right-hand side here, this is the first tab. This is obviously the video recording tab showing the graphics card you're using at the time. This interface here is basically adjustable, so you can change it to whatever you want, but it's just a reminder to yourself if you have multiple key bindings or maybe you, you do a lot of streaming and you've completely forgot for some crazy reason when you first get this recorder, what are the buttons I need to press to actually start and stop the video recording? It gives you a really nice indication of there it is, that's what I need to press, because I must admit when I first started using this software, I had absolutely no idea which buttons I had selected to actually start video recording, which this is really nice for it kind of sets up. As you can see right now, I'm actually recording. This video has been rendered as I speak using the same software to actually record this, so it's working very nice. There are four different video recording modes. Uh, on the left here, we have games and applications, so you can basically select um, for just video games. This is the in-screen capture, so it's basically capturing the screen that you selected to capture, and the active desktop region, which I'm not going to click because it could screw up this particular recording, but it'll basically will give you a box on which you can select the area that you wish to record, whether it be just a tiny little segment or the entire screen. And finally, this will select um, a record webcam or USB HDMI capture devices. So it'll record specifically something you've inputted into one of your HDMIs. Down here, you have your file format. I like to have MP4, of course. Uh, you can have your hardware acceleration from NVIDIA. So yes, my 1070, oh, sorry, 770, I wish I had a 1070, uh, is using NVIDIA there. So it's being given a bit of acceleration for hardware. I set my um, video size at 1080p, highest quality, and there's various different options there for you. Unfortunately, it does not have 4K right now, but I can almost guarantee in the near future when 4K becomes a little bit bigger, they're probably gonna bring out 4K video size resolution capturing. A video frame rate, I keep it up nice and high with 60 frames per second. And basically, this is now um, dictating what other options you wish to have within the video itself. Of course, with your microphone, you can adjust to have it always record, push to talk, and push to talk on off, which again is really, really handy. It also constantly leaves that input available so you can see it. You don't just have to, you know, set it in the background and hopefully your microphone's working. You know in big, bold, 
you know, red square there that your microphone is working, because the worst thing in the world is starting a video completely forgetting that your microphone wasn't on, and you have a completely gameplay audio only video, and that sucks. Again here, you have your webcam option, which you can click and select the various webcams you have. Um, and it's really nice, again, to have that big old red square to make sure your webcam's working, although you can actually see in the top corner your webcam. And the application. Now, the application I've never really used, um, but this is just basically, uh, to be honest, I've never really used it. It's not something I've really looked into. Uh, so your next option then on the right is our live streaming. Now, if you've ever live streamed before, it's very finicky with certain gameplay recorders. Once again, with action, absolutely fantastic. I don't use this particular software to do this, only for the fact that um, I like interfacing with OBS for YouTube, mainly for the fact that I'm used to it. I know all the settings on OBS. I, I, to be honest, I've never even tried it on action. I probably should, and I'm sure it would have absolutely no problems at all. Uh, I just haven't really tried it, but I can always guarantee it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, 1080p again for video quality and 60 frames per second. And then obviously you can just log in straight via your YouTube account. You don't need to enter anything. It just goes straight into there. And you can connect straight through via YouTube if you wish to, or whatever other streaming software you wish to. And we'll go through the settings for that later. Again, it gives you the actual indication of which controls you need to press to start and stop your live stream instead of just you having to remember your bindings, which is really, really nice. Uh, your audio recordings here, again, it gives you the option for different variants, whether it be MP4 or uh, WAV, and you can set for how long you may want to record for a set time period, and again, with your microphone. And benchmarking, this is something a little bit more, you know, it's not something I tend to really do, it's not something I need, uh, but if you do wish to benchmark, the option is there for you too, and gives you system specifications, which are the beautiful i747, uh, sorry, 90k there. Uh, but yeah, that option's there available for you also. Uh, this is now your screen capturing, so if you wish to do that, you can set up your screen capturing binding and take screen captures. Looks like I've been playing a little Steelbeast Pro and SWAT in the uh, past years, doing some screenshots. Some that look rather boring. Uh, but again, you can select the file format you want to place it in and the type of screenshot area you want to do, whether it be your first or second screen, or if you have multiple monitors. And finally, one of the most important tabs, your settings. So these are your general settings, clearly just English, and that goes from German to Spanish, French, Italian, if you're whatever language you speak, uh, Kekistani, I guess. Uh, and your user face size, so I tend to just have 100%. I don't go any bigger. It doesn't need to be any bigger than this. I like to have it just tucked away in the corner. And these are all your multiple different options. You can have various different uh, interface abilities, whether you want it to start up with the uh, windows firing up, you know, if you want to um, hide it when you're recording and such. All those sort of abilities are there if you only have one screen. Maybe you don't want to minimize and see this ugly screen in the background. It's kind of hidden away. Uh, here you go, you have your video quality. I don't know why it was set to low. We're going to set that to ultra. That's a little concerning. I, maybe I completely forgot to set it that way. Uh, and then you can obviously change your bitrate, your input range. You can have your uh, multi-core recording, which I guess ties in with your graphics card. To be honest, I've never really looked into that too much, but I can almost guarantee that's probably what it's for. Uh, and you can change your mouse cursor abilities if you wish to do that too. Uh, overlay graphics, if you wish to insert some overlay graphics, you have the ability to select which file you want to put in there, whether it be your own little caption or, or watermark there, and you can put it wherever you like, wherever you like, sorry, top left, center, top right, center, and all that good stuff. And I don't put any overlay graphics on the majority of my videos, to be honest. Uh, you have your option for your video and your webcam, which is really, really nice. Again, gives you multiple different options, whether you want the video size to be big, or if you want it be, uh, small, its positioning, whether it be vertical or horizontal. I don't use Chroma Key, I don't have any requirement to do that, I don't have a green screen, anything like that, but you do have that ability if you do want to use it. Uh, sounding then, again, recording of system sounds, you can select which audio device you wish to use and the bitrate that it wants to come out at. Microphone, again, very simple stuff guys, you pretty much already know what's going on here. Once again, very simple, easy interface, it's very good at detecting which uh, items you need, whether it be your monitors. Uh, speakers or your you know your headset or your microphone it's all there very very easy to use your HUD settings I tend to not have any of it showing whilst I'm recording uh, it does show me some other bits and pieces on the top right here so it's showing my frames per second uh, whether or not I'm recording or not this will actually change to a red button right now I'm using a separate screen to show the red button but this would actually if I'd started recording show a live red button which you will see uh, 
at the top here once you click record and it's showing the space you have available left to record so again it's giving you a little bit of a live update that won't show in your gameplay but you will be able to see it uh, just for reference while you're recording. Uh, this is your export setting, so again allowing you to use that hardware acceleration for video encoding uh, and where you'd like to actually put the videos. And again here's your key bindings, multiple options for key bindings whether it be just record audio, the video, benchmarking and most of these again I don't really require so I tend to just turn them off. So there you have it guys, the action gameplay recording. There's a lot of other features that this system has and I've really just gone over it very, very broadly. I don't go into things far too in depth because there's no real requirement to. Uh, it's supported for nearly all graphics cards, uh, whether it be Nvidia or, or Radeon and all that good stuff. It works very well for YouTube, I, although I haven't actually used it myself, but I have been told by many people that have used this software in the past uh, when I asked for my opinion on it for live streaming that it has absolutely no problems at all. It is available for Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. Uh, and if you do want to use it, there is actually a 30 day free trial to activate it uh, when purchased with a serial number. With that being said, guys, I'm not going to lie to you, this software gets an extremely high rating uh, by the Top 10 Reviews 2017. It got a gold review award, um, which is pretty damn good. It's a 9.4 uh, out of 10 ranking. It's the number one in video game recording software as of right now, which is pretty darn impressive. I think they started off low scale and for some reason they just did really really good and now they've just kind of gone through the roof a little bit. Um, I follow them on Facebook, I follow them on Google and Twitter and all that stuff. Updates are obviously very easy to have because it does automatic updating, especially with Steam. It's I don't even have to worry about it, it just works. And again, like I said, no issues with this software guys, it works flawlessly, it provides very good 1080p high quality video footage, no juddering, no stuttering, it's quick to buffer. Um, if you're trying to show a thumbnail or something like that, it's just very well made software. And I will hands down put my opinion on this as a very good recorder and something that I would strongly suggest you buy. So for those of you who keep asking me, Maximus, what software do you use? This is it guys, action gameplay screen recorder software made by Marillis. Um, and if you guys do wish to purchase this, please, 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 Feel free to take on the coupon code, I guess, uh, it's coupon code, but it's basically the uh, giveaway code that can actually uh, link you to my YouTube channel to get a bit of a discount. Yes, you will actually get uh, a potential discount once you use that code. Now, the code I'm still waiting on right now, I will leave it in the description box for you, um, but basically, you'll be able to get a bit of a discount to buy this action gameplay recorder and use it for your own footage, whatever you may want to use. Um, I will also potentially be able to give a bundle of keys uh, for Steam in the near future here from Action to actually allow you guys to try out this software, see what you think of it, and hopefully you'll enjoy it just as much. Uh, I should potentially be able to give a 25% discount on Action Gameplay Recorder. So if you guys use the link, which I eventually will place into this video, uh, this is a little bit backdated because I'm still waiting on my registration and details coming from it, but you will have it in the description box below here and I will link it so you'll be able to see it. Uh, it's there right now, it's just I'm backdating this a little bit. But uh, feel free to check that out and uh, if you do go to actionrecorder.com, then you'll be able to actually see that product, buy it and get a bit of a discount. Um, so I really appreciate you guys stopping by today and watching this video. I hope this gives you a little bit of an insight to the Matsumus recording world. Uh, and you guys will hopefully maybe stop asking me which gameplay recording software I use. No, I'm just kidding. Any information I can provide to you guys that if you're starting your own YouTube channel or just want to record your own footage, I'm more than happy to help. And like I said before, guys, I don't do, you know, I don't follow products that are not good. Um, I follow things that I know have done me very well, and this has done me extremely, extremely well. Once again, thanks for joining me. Check out that website, guys. Go have a look. If you wish to buy that software, please input the discount code, and you'll be able to get a bit of a discount. Um, and I would really appreciate, as always, to leave a like, leave a comment, and if you are new to my channel, subscribe. All the best. Have a great day, and bye-bye.